There are three mindset shifts that I need you to make this year to have the most successful year that you are going to have. So please listen carefully and let this information that I'm gonna cover with you sink in. The first mind shift that I wanna make sure that you have is that you have to understand you are in control of your learning. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is in control of your learning. You determine how much you are going to learn this year. Not your teacher, not your parents, not if you're in classroom, outside of the classroom, distance learning, hybrid, learning from videos, learning from a teacher, you control your learning. The reason why I bring this up is you have to understand you cannot blame other people for how you are going to do this year. In the end, when we look back 10 years back from this event, but you're not gonna get a special pass just because it's going to be tough. That is a part of the learning process. We don't wanna be blaming anybody for us not be able to learn the material that we're supposed to know. Because guess what? In this day and age, all the information is already available to you. That is like any other generation before you. You have access to everything you could possibly want and need to learn. So it doesn't matter who your teacher is this year. It doesn't matter what the circumstances of how you're supposed to receive your instruction this year. You are in control of your learning and you need to make sure you understand that and take control of that. The next thing I just wanna let you know is, I know this is gonna be tough, and probably even taking control of your learning is not really something that's very enjoyable to learn because that's putting responsibility on you. It's much easier to put responsibility on other people and not have to worry about what it is we need to learn. I know that's not something special that you really want to know because that's now giving you responsibility where it's much easier to you know, hope that somebody else is gonna take care of what everything that you need to know. But the next mindset shift that I want you to hold on to is make this year the absolute best because there's gonna be a lot of unknowns and it is true. You have the worst experience out of anybody else that is trying to tell you what you're supposed to be doing or how you're supposed to be aiming, including myself. But the fact is you gotta make this experience the absolute best that it can be. And I'm not saying just pretend when something's bad to pretend it's making it good. All I'm saying is take whatever it is you can out of the situation to learn from, to grow, and to have fun. Experience it. Because yeah, you're right. This is unprecedented times to use the cliche word, but we need to be able to come from this better and to know more things and to learn. So yeah, no matter what, make this the absolute best year that you have ever had. Because you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your friends, your family, and your teachers. And if you're gonna sit back and you know complain and worry that you know why is this happening well guess what it's happening to every single person that is trying to go through school doing the same thing all the teachers we're all in the same situation we don't like this situation of having to not know how this year is going to be it's not fun for anybody we're all trying to figure this out in the end but i will tell you the only mindset approach that i am trying to make out of this school year is to make it the absolute best school year I possibly can. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how this year is going to be. All I want to do is have the absolute blast teaching, learning, and having fun with my students. So how are we gonna do that? Well, that's gonna come down to the mind shift number three, which is going to change our approach. Because guys, we can't approach this school year like we approached last year, the year before, the year before, the year before. It's different. Everything that we know about going to school, about teaching, has been immediately changed. And what we need to do is think about how we're going to approach this year to get the most out of it in terms of learning, taking control, as far as fun, making the most out of this year, we're gonna have to change the approach. And if you don't change the approach, then these three mind shifts aren't gonna make any sense or you're not gonna be able to do any of them. So we have to kind of think about how it is we're going to attack this year. Some of you are used to going inside the classroom, talking to your teacher, being with your friends. That might not be the case anymore. But you know what? It's easy to complain and think about how bad that is um, and how that's not gonna be fun this year. But it's another way that we can think about how can we change our approach so that we can still communicate with people. We can still ask questions. We can still get the help we want to be and we can still have a fun experience with our friends. So all I'm saying is just think of something different rather than trying to stay with the same old, same old. Because we all know the same old, same old is not here this year. It is gone. We need to change our approach. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, just to round up, I was thinking about this the other day and I really just wanted to you know, bring this to you guys. I was like, you know what? 
I gotta make a video for this because this is something that I want everybody to understand before the school year starts, is we got to change our approach this year. It is not like any other year. And I'm seeing a lot of teachers, I'm seeing a lot of parents and students approaching this year like it's exactly the same. And we all know it's not, so why are we trying to pretend that it's going to be of some way or fashion? right? We know we have to take control of our learning. We are in control of how much we are going to learn this year. We are in control of how much fun we are going to have and how great this year is going to be. And the only way we are going to achieve those two things is by changing up our approach. And I hope you can take some of these mindset shifts from this video and apply it this year and comment down below to let me know how it's going. And who knows, this video could age not really well and those will be some very interesting comments. But I'm hoping that is not the case and we are gonna have an absolute great year. Um, I am looking forward to getting back inside the classroom, working with my students, changing my approach, having some fun, and also making sure that I am in control of my classroom and my instruction and my students are in control of their learning. Have a great start to the school year. Cheers.